Yo, what's good guys? It's Beach. Today we're gonna do a different video. Normally, I do fundamentals, game sense, just fundamentals that apply to everybody. Um, show you guys kind of what it is and then apply it to the game and then show you kind of like that game application. However, I've gotten a lot, a lot, a lot of requests to kind of explain how I got better at mechanics and I wanna do that for you guys as well. So today it's gonna be a bit more of a discussion video. It might be a little bit longer. With that said, hang in there with me, okay? So we're going to go over kind of the three really, really important things. Um, first, two things I want to say is everybody thinks Rocket League is incredibly challenging mechanically. There's two sides to that. Um, it can be. It can be more challenging than a game like Overwatch. Why? Because in Overwatch, I could have played Valorant before. And those aim mechanics oftentimes just correlate together, right? I learned how to aim in Valorant or I learned how to get aim in Overwatch. Now I know how to aim in the other game, okay? So that's kind of the hard part. There's no other game like Rocket League. And here's my first big point of why this game is challenging for players to improve mechanics on, okay? It's called having an intention, okay? And what that means is in an FPS game, it's really easy to improve your aim. Why? Because you have to ha your plan is to hit the other person with your with your shot right very very simple to be like i need to hit this person okay and so i improved my aim incredibly fast overwatch was my first fps game on the pc with that said i could go into the finals right now and probably have pretty good aim and you know what i play the finals casually i have like 30 hours i'll show you guys some of my clips just to show you that you can improve mechanics in any game very quick so i'll show you that right now Uh, one's coming over and that's one HP. Got him. Got the one on the zip line. Cool. Now with that said, you guys have seen some of my final clips and it's not so much a clip dump. It's to show you that like you can have really good mechanics in any game that you play if you do it the right way. So we're going to apply these to Rocket League. And the first thing, like I said, is having intention. Okay. What I see a lot of players do in low ranks as well as high ranks is they're going to say, you know what? I'm just going to hit the ball. I'm clearing the ball. Time to clear the ball. Time to clear the ball. Time to clear the ball or hit the ball. Time to hit it again. Or, and it's like, okay, where are you trying to hit it? Or you have the select few that are gonna say, you know what, I'm gonna clear the ball on their net. Great. Or you can say, I'm gonna hit it top right. Did it go in? No, let's fix that. Perfect. Okay, now with that said, those are the three different levels. There's the, there's the level where there's no intention. And imagine if you just randomly start shooting in an FPS game with no intention. That's where you that's where your mistake is, okay? And then your second one is where you kind of just generally aim in that vicinity. And if you do that in an FPS game, are you going to hit somebody? Maybe once in a while. And that's why players maybe once in a while score with they don't have full intention. However, those people that place shots will score a lot more, okay? And now with that said, what does it mean to have intention? It means to have a plan or to aim to do something, okay? This is what I see when players are like, I'm really trying to improve my wall mechanics. They're gonna say, I'm gonna go for a flip reset. I'm gonna go for an air dribble. Ha, double tap. And then they'll say at the end of it, I was going for a double tap. There was no intention there, okay? What I want people to do is I want people to go like this. I'm gonna go to the ceiling, get my reset, hit the ball once and then shoot simple what did i do i did exactly what i wanted to i intended to go to the ceiling i intended to hit the ball once and then i intended to shoot after okay and that's how we improve our mechanics we intend to do something if you mess up and you're like i want to go to the ceiling and then i want to pogo and you mess up on the pogo at least you're intending to do something and that's how you're going to improve is if you have an intention you will improve out of it if you don't have an intention you will just simply not improve because there's nothing to work on you're just autopiloting if you don't have an intention okay and in rocket league like i said it's very easy to lose intention okay now with that said we're going to move to the next thing 
How do we improve very difficult mechanics? Breaking it into small, simple steps, breaking it into drills. Okay, you want to make it as you want to make these mechanics that might seem difficult into as many drills as possible. So I'm gonna teach you guys in two to three minutes. I'm gonna say three minutes because I talk a lot. How to zap dash? What is a zap dash? Cool. That's a zap dash. Might seem like a very difficult mechanic for a lot of players. We're gonna break it down so all of you guys, by the end of this two minute tutorial, three minute tutorial, can zap dash with me. It might take you a little bit longer than, than others to learn. Now, with that said, we're gonna break it into enough steps that if you mess up, you can figure out what step you messed up on and fix it. Okay? Well, let's get started. If you guys have your controller with you, if you guys, if you guys want a keyboard and mouse, whatever you do, join along with me. First thing I want you to do is just do five front flips. This is the first step to a zap dash. Okay, this is really simple, right? Very, very simple. Cool. Now that you've done that, I want you to learn to crease dash. We're gonna break this into steps. You're gonna go to the wall, and as you come down the wall, you're gonna hold your left stick down at the six o'clock position, and then press A once you get almost to the bottom. You see how my car wheelies? Now we're learning how to bobble the front of our car to get off the ground without raising the back tires. And if your car, I'm just gonna give you this so you can self-teach yourself. If your car doesn't jump, you're on the crease. If your car jumps off the ground, you're too low. You're too on the ground. If your car doesn't jump again, you're on the wall. If your car does jump, you're here. If your car bobbles, you've learned the timing. Whoa, what? I was on the crease too much. Perfect. Now that you've figured out how to pop a wheelie with your car, I want you to snap your stick forward after you pop the wheelie up to the 12 o'clock position and press A again. So it should look like this. Okay. Again, I mess up. Everybody messes up, right? Okay. Shut up. To be fair, I was looking at the Streamlabs thing to make sure it was following my sticks. But nice and simple, right? Now we've put this into the steps. Wheelie and okay. What happened there? My stick wasn't up all the way. I didn't go fast enough. I empty jumped because I didn't push my stick up fast enough. Oh, I was too far up on the wall. Perfect. Now what I want you guys to do, now that you've gotten how to wheelie and then snap your wheelie to the ground, I want you to front flip and then just pop the wheelie. Don't snap the wheelie. Just front flip and pull back on your stick and press A. And you should pop a wheelie. I find it easier if you do a diagonal flip rather than a front flip. Now that you've figured out how to pop a wheelie, here's the thing. I can't sit here and tell you guys how the timing works. Your timing, you're going to have to kind of figure out yourself. Okay, intend to hit it early, intend to hit it late. Have an intention of when you're hitting it and you'll learn from that. If your car jumps, you've done it late. If your car doesn't jump, you've done it early, just like the wall. Now, all you're going to do is snap your flip forward. You're going to snap your wheelie forward, just like we did on the wall dash. Or, I'm sorry, on the crease dash. Oops. What have we done? And it's probably like three and a half minutes. Like I said, I talk a little bit too much. We figured out, oops, how to zap dash. And if you have any questions, I don't want you guys, here's the thing. I don't want you guys going into the comments and being like, oh, where did I mess up? Here's the thing. Teach yourself how. Okay, I don't mind helping you guys, but we break it into enough drills that you should know where you're messing up. Okay, and a lot of people don't break their stuff into drills, so they don't know where they're messing up. This is how you teach yourself is by breaking it into drills, figuring out where you're messing up and fixing that specific part. With that said, a few people have also asked me, hey, can you do a two hour long, an hour long video of just every mechanic or most mechanics and break them into drills for me? Here's the thing. If you guys want me to do that, say yes to a two hour long video with a heart and then put the mechanic you want me to break into a drill and I will do timestamps and everything. I'll actually do a pretty well edited video so you guys can kind of navigate the video and figure out all the drills to improve different mechanics from like a flip reset, how to get a flip reset, how to get a helicopter reset, how to do a front flip, right? A double reset or whatever, right? Or how, how do you pinch the ball? All stuff. We'll go over it all. Okay. So that's the two things. The first thing is intending to do something. The second thing is breaking it up into small steps. What is the third thing? The third thing that I think is so important. You ready? And that is learning to adapt out of your mistakes. Okay. This is really bad for players that are learning how to be mechanical. Wild Air Jewel, my favorite fucking free play map. Oh, I messed up. Oh, I messed up. 
No, I messed up. Oh, I messed up. People do this. You don't get to do that in a game. You don't get to go to the opponent and be like, someone sitting in that, be like, hey, bro, I messed that up. Do you mind if I go, I don't know, grab that 100 boost in the corner and try again? You don't get to do that. If you mess up. Oh, I, my, my cat stepped on my hand. Just figure out how to get, okay. Okay. <laughs> figure out how to play through it. And that's why free play is so good. Why did the ball peg me twice? I didn't mean it like that. Pause. If I mess up, let's see. I want to pop the first touch. Okay, sure. Let's say I want to go up the wall here. We'll just roll it just for time's sake. And I want to get a reset and I want to use it right away. I didn't get my reset. Fix it. Go for another one. If you learn to adapt in free play, you're learning to also adapt in a game where you need to. And now with that said, as humans, if you mess up and you're forced to fix your mistake, your brain takes over in almost this survival mode. Like, I need to fix this. I need to fix this. Your instincts take over, which is good because then you're really figuring out different ways to fix your mistakes. And as you're figuring out different ways to fix your mistakes, you're improving your mechanics. Because you're going, you're having to do different movements. Like if I don't get a reset, I'm trying to get another one, right? Or let's say I try to go to the ceiling with the ball and the ball doesn't come up high enough. Okay, it came up high enough. Or it didn't, see? So I want to hit it into the ground and like maybe double it into the goal, right? Learning to adapt out of it is so important. Like I said, it'll make your brain trigger that fight or flight mode, except you're always going to fight now. You're not going to fight. You're not going to run away and be like, I can reset this shot. You're going to fight through it. And now with that said, it forces you, like I said, to improve your mechanics okay because like i said if you mess up you're gonna move your car in a different way than you normally would with that set movement i didn't get my reset what am i gonna do i'll try to catch it right try to go for a breezy and i still messed it up now with that said i learned how to catch the ball and i did a cool breezy motion out of it did i get the goal no maybe not was that a perfect first touch no can i still play out of it of course okay those are my three major things to improve mechanics and not just rocket league and anything even in sports by the way even if you play basketball soccer football baseball whatever it's in having an intention okay which is very easy in some things and not in others to break things into small drills break things into very very small drills very very simple steps and three learning to adapt out of it okay like I said, this video is a lot of just fucking sitting here and ranting. It's a big, big, big discussion, which isn't super fun for a lot of people to listen to, but that's how we're going to improve our mechanics. Now, with that said, if you guys want me to, again, comment with like, make a two hour long video with a heart and tell me the mechanic you guys want me to break into a drill. And I will sit there for like a week and make sure I hit everyone's mechanics in the comments. And, and really really emphasize those small drills and show you guys how to break them up so you guys can learn those me different mechanics okay um for those people that want to watch me play ranked i i guess i'll play a game for you guys that's casual was that snow day and casual anyway i'll play a ranked game we're 1675 we lost a bit of mmr the last two days which happens okay like I said, it's about improving. Like I said, if I want to go for a flick, I'm not just going to do that, right? I'm going to say, you know what? I want to go for a 45. Bang, right? Or hey, you know what? I want to go for a tornado flick. Did I mess it up? Sure, but I'm learning, right? I'm learning why I messed up. Let's get it. We're going to talk about game sense. We're not going to sit here and be like, oh, intentions, intentions. Obviously, we're going to be, we're in like GC2, GC3. People are intending to do their things for the most part. Let's get it. That sucks. I bumped him my teammate. Nice. You made him dodge us. We made our teammate make a save. That means we were a bad teammate there. This boost spawns. Nice save by us. I'm also going to pre-flip to help him. Teammate can catch. I'm going to cheat up to this boost. Teammate shoots, maybe. The reason I cheated up to that boost is because I know we had the attack. I'm going to go quick here. Hit it into the backboard. It's awkward for this guy. Not as awkward as I was hoping, though, right? I should not. Yeah, I, I should have been there. He's one to beat. I need to be there. However, that one to beat played that very well. It's going to come down to me. To my teammate because I fucked up, right? I had an intention to shoot that, and I fucked it up. With that said, we still improve. I'm too hot, though. Same thing, right? He had a pretty easy shot. 
messed up. It happens. My intention is to 50, chase him down. Chase the demo down. That was kind of trolling me. Fake chow, why? Because he has control. What does a fake challenging do? It makes him lose control. And I have a 50 the whole time. Ooh, good air dribble. That's a goal. Nice play. We should be, uh, we should have a goal by now, huh? but I, I missed my shot. Happens though, right? If you mess up, you learn from it. That's a good thing. If you only ever succeed, well, then it wouldn't be fun either way. It wasn't the best play, so I improvise out of it, right? We adapt. Sometimes it's just how it's gonna go. I don't know who's inviting me. Kind of cut him there, make it awkward, bump him off. Pinch. Take his boost. Ah, I missed the boost, so I can get back. Well, good teammate gets to go first, I get to go backward. I actually want to stay on the ground with how he's attacking. I want to pay, hit a corner. I shouldn't have, though. I intended to hit it to that side. I shouldn't have, though, because they can keep control. We are having a rough time getting off the of defense. I hit it last second. Why? So he rotates through. Teammate gets a touch. Teammate gets to shoot. Teammate didn't stay on the ball, though. No, he did. Sure. Very good play by them. That uh, was actually an interesting play. Good fake challenge by him. Bump him. I want to go for that mid. However, my teammate, I need to be behind him by the time it's by the time it's his turn to challenge. That's a really good 50. That's a good touch too. I'm gonna go over here. Why? Oh, I have no clue. I should have stayed where I was. Nice touch. That's a really good touch by him. Just dusts me with it. Stays controlled too. Teammate's going a little bit too fast. I messed up there. My teammate was going too fast. He just trying to push the pace around me. Which is a bummer. <laughs> Pass, shot, something. Fake chow. No. It's another goal for them. It's all good. We're down two. That sucks because, like I said, I was trying to get around my teammate to demo. And then, if I didn't do that, we would actually have probably had a goal because of the way he 50 but... Just played it wrong. Happens. I didn't know he was going to speed up all the way. If I knew he was going to, I wouldn't shoot a ball around him. Um, I'm not sure how I didn't get demo, and I'm not sure how I didn't get a demo. Nice. We're on 1v1. Or 2v1. Fake child this why? Because he's in control. Fake child, why? Because he could be a to it. And he could control that. If they can control it, or they have control of it, you just want to fake challenge a lot of the times. I was hoping my teammate would get a demo then, but fair enough. Probably another goal now. No. I touched that, so they can't control it. I probably shouldn't have my teammate at a rough time controlling it. It's just unlucky. We'll play one more. I don't know who that is. Oops. Rough game. It happens, right? You can't, you can't be upset if you lose a game. You can. Obviously, you can be upset. We had a lot of goal scoring opportunities. We had six shots on that to there, too. But if we just played a little bit better. Happens. All right, I'll play one more and get out of here. Um, like I said, it's not so much. You can't really teach all of those philosophies and, and concepts in game. It's just kind of how it goes. Um, here's the thing. We did. We. I mean, yeah, we lost that game by two. But then again, we also should have not been losing right i didn't open i had a free shot that i missed and then i missed that last one too i had two shots and then my teammate had like two we should have been up here's the thing though is you're gonna lose games off mechanics and that's why you're sitting here and improving them right that's why we have intentions see how i mess up that touch what do i do i try to recover it and i just try to play through it and see what i can do out of it that's how you're gonna improve i wanted to air dribble it at the orange net but since i went in front of the ball i started going towards the blues net let's go one more let's go go 
against a duo. Should go kind of over to my teammate's side. We saw him go that way. I don't think he intended to do that, right? Looked like he didn't have much intention to seeing that ball. Tried to get a heavy last second touch, but I, mean, I didn't get a heavy enough one to get by him. Teammate has one to beat, but he also is a very good position to not get beat. Does that look like he was a well-intended play by them? You just kind of slam that into our corner wall, right? I do that a lot, too. I just kind of blast the ball for funsies. I don't want to get That's an annoying bounce, to say the least. I can clear to myself. That was not... That ball I didn't really have intention on. Like I said, I sometimes just tend to blast the ball and fuck up because of it. That's really stupid chow. I need to get back. I'm gonna go up, help him out. Okay. I thought he was going backboard, so I tried to force him high. That's my bad. I should have forced him more. That's on me. Alright, my teammate went on my vision all the way over there, so I thought he was gonna be like high backboard so he could just jump off or like side flip, but that's my bad. I didn't see where he was. I should have flicked my stick just now. I could have made that way easier for him. Really bad kickoff. Can I get boost and then get back? Yes, nice. Back pass. Try to demo. Couldn't. Teammate should be okay next time. I fucked up, but since we learned to adapt in free play, I can adapt here too, right? That would be a questionable play to go for, right? Normally. But we made it kind of work. It's a bummer. Right, if I mess that up in like free play, a lot of the times you just hit the restart button. With that said, I just played through it because I have to, it's a game. That's my bad. I should just rotate straight back. We're still able to get back in time. Fake Chow, why? Because he has control. Hit it around him. Not quite. Harassing their second man. My intention is to get a middle before he gets there. Didn't do it successfully. We're just going to play goal. I don't know, boost. I thought I had more. Bad play by me. Well, maybe not. Teammate can maybe make it a decent one. He has very chaotic challenges, to say the least. Can you demo him? No. Huge intentions right there. Nice bump by us. Make it easy for our second man. intention was to not do that, right? I didn't really have much intention. I was just trying to beat him. My teammate says need boost. I don't really care. He tried. That's all that matters. That's a duo, by the way. Really good comms. Right? A lot of players, what are they going to do there below my rank? Even a GC, they're just going to fucking try to hit it to the backboard. I take my time. I assess and I have an intention to put it on the net. Why? Because it's open. Take your time, and make sure you go with your intentions. I think teammate gets that. I don't think he got it. He just wanted to be this, so I should be there. Fake chow, so he dodges. Air dribbles out, I can kind of help make it chaotic. My intention is to lob it middle, go for their boost, right? Right. Bummer. I shut down by him. I probably shouldn't have gone for a double there. I don't really know what he's doing. That sucks. Um, I panicked there a bit. Just make it awkward for them. Bump him out. I can get mid boost. Nice chow by him. He has one to beat, so what do we do? We cheat up, but that one is going to beat my teammate. Fake challenge. I'm in an awkward spot. Bummer. 
what am i hoping for my teammate to do there he says hey my teammate just what do you do what do you think there as a player you say hey your teammate just challenged i should probably go what does he do he says i'm gonna sit in net and watch i'm gonna make sure that my teammate carries me bummer i sh i didn't read that kick off that's my fault I intend to keep it close. Fucked it up, right? Happens, who cares? Part of the game. Beautiful. Did I double that in or did they? I think he did. He did. Thank God. They're gonna get Spanish kick off this, so I'm just gonna lurk back. We're thankful that I'm here, right? Actually, pretty pretty decent play. I should have cheated there. My teammate actually read it, but I didn't know if he was gonna read it or not. I'm gonna grab some pads here. It's kind of a crazy ass challenge. Sure though. Boost spawns for me. No, it doesn't, which makes me in a terrible spot. Teammate should help me. Should is the big keyword. It's all right though. Hit into the corner wall, double tap the middle of the game. Really good fucking save by him. I called game because I thought he wasn't going to be able to get to that and it'd be an open net. Fake challenge, why? Because he has control. And I give him the ball back. Boost through, because why? I need to. Teammate has an open net, by the way. If he went earlier, he would have. Alright, fair enough. Bummer. Hopefully, I can buy time for my teammate to get back, because that's my job. Fake chow, teammate's there. Beautiful. 50 outwards to my teammate control that let's go see now he has an intention to flick beautiful okay gg gg's cool that's that okay i want to highlight before we get out of here what a good game by us too we carried pretty hard is what it is Let's quickly talk about the three things one more time because here's the thing. It's really I usually don't sit here and reiterate a lot of stuff There's none of that that you can apply in a game. However, I'm gonna say one more thing after all of this If you made it this far, I really appreciate it Intention drills adaptability last thing is confidence Okay, if you could do something in free play, I promise you can do it in the game If you get pre-jumped and blocked and stuffed over and over again that's just because you're forcing it, okay? Do not beat yourself up and be like, I can do like 16 fucking resets and musty flick my water bottle in game. Like, no. But I are in free play, but I can't do anything in game. I can't even flick the ball in game. That's just because you need to have confidence and you need to do it at the right time, okay? Again, if you get anything of value of this video, that's kind of the goal. So I really, really hope so. Uh. <laughs> I think that's pretty much everything. You guys should be set with that. That should help a lot of people out. Um, there's no secret to be like, there's no secret to this. While I'm air rolling, every, every half a second, I'm thinking my car's upside down. So when I turn this way, and then, it, my, and then I want to go this way, I think about it every other second, I have to move my stick to each side. No, it's just the reality of it is, it's also muscle memory. That's how you improve muscle memory quickly though, okay? That's how we improve our basic mechanics as well as our advanced level mechanics. And if you guys liked the video, I really appreciate it. You don't even have to hit the like button. Now with that said though, I just am here to help you guys out, okay? I'm here to help you guys out through all the different games that I play, playing the game to the top, playing every game to the top rank. Um, so hopefully you guys got something to value today. I'm going to look at the comments. If you guys want me to do a video, I will heart your, your comment with a mechanic and the two hours of coaching with a heart. Really, really appreciate it. I usually don't send off too much, but like I said, this is a discussion video, so I feel like a lot needs to just be discussed in that sense as well. So, again, that's pretty much everything I have for you guys. I wish you guys the best of luck out there. Have questions. Uh, just comment them down below, or just DM me on Discord if you have a simple question. There it goes.